Uganda is said to be one of the countries with huge mineral deposits in the region. Government through the Ministry of Energy is embarking on exploitation of some of the hidden treasures. Today, the Minister of Energy and Mineral Development signed a license that was awarded to an Australian farm to mine rare earth elements in eastern Uganda. The area is estimated to have over 532 million tons of ore containing rare earth elements in various areas in Mayuge, Bugwere, and Bujiri in eastern Uganda. It contains about 340,000 tons of rare earth oxides across all the six, um, out of your license, the six licenses that you have with us. And uh, this large scale license award represents the first step in developing one of the world's largest, most advanced development ready heavy rare earth element assets. The following are the terms and conditions that the government has set for the developer. The, you will commence mine development operations, including construction activities after full payment and compensation for the exclusive use of the affected land. I congratulate you on that. Three, commence mine development operation is not later than 12 months from the date of grant of this license. Although it's not clear how many people will be affected by the project, Nankabiru has stated that all persons affected by the project will be compensated. When we come and request you to move, it's because we want you to move so that we can use the resources under your land which are given to government by law. The Minister of Energy, Ruth Nankabra, said that the country is in its final stages of registering a Uganda National Mining Company Limited that will have a 15% share or stake within the venture of exploiting the rare earth minerals. So what is the take home for Ugandans beyond the employment opportunities that might arise during the exploitation? Whatever they get, you get 15%. So I am not able to quantify what is in 15%. The other advantages are that um, we shall require local content, participation. Nankawiro says the rare earth elements contain 17 minerals, but did not specify which ones and the value of each of the elements. Government banned the exportation of minerals in raw form, hoping to get more money by exporting processed minerals. Sudil Biarhanga, NTV.